<laughs> oh, it's from all those races, wasn't it? Right, okay, I'm going to have to go and get him to build me something now, I think. Enhanced Griffin Boots. Okay, it's asking for Griffin Boots. It's wrong craftsman anyway, so this is a sword, dude. I don't think I need... My sword's in making just yet. You think you have all the Witcher sets crafted beside Feline because you don't like the appearance anyway, so not going to bother crafting it? Ah, good point. I mean, no point doing it just for the sake of it, is there? Hey, Trollsium. Nice to see you. Have a little, have a little high tonight. Feline Silver Sword. I think... This is the bit where I wish you could just go and look straight in your inventory without, uh... I guess I can... Can I go back? Shop crafting. I guess I can go to dismantle. It just doesn't show what I've got equipped. Really annoying. I don't see any option I can... No, I, I don't. I don't. Really annoying when you can't remember what you've... Or equipped or not. Take a look at the swords. Um, Alright, so I can get the Griffins, the enhanced. I don't think I need that. We're going to go out. We're going to have to take a look and see what I've actually got here. So long. Grandmaster Griffin has epic bonuses. I look forward to seeing that. He wants. What have I got? I've got the Enhanced Griffin Steel Sword that requires level 18 and the Feline Silver Sword that le level 17. Okay, so I can make the Enhanced Griffin Sword, which I should do. Get on the right thingy. And that's just the standard Griffin. Okay, so we need to, we're going to do the Griffin Enhanced one. Back we go. Why has it took me out in the rain? Come back here. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be? I'll get back to the quest Listen, in a minute. Would you craft something for me? So, filters. Do that. Now, what's it asking for? I can probably craft one of the things that I'm missing. It's the. Griffin Silver Sword Enhanced, it needs a Meteorite Silver Ingot. M. Meteorite Silver Ingot. Do that then. Now get me this sword. You're totally loving it. Previous playthroughs, you've used either Wolf School or Manticore and Viper, but this time started shouting the Griffin School bonuses. It's glorious, uh, but it's based on sign ability build. I I like the idea of that as well. In fact, I'd like the idea of just being an all-rounder. I know a lot of people like to min-max or, or you know, power play and go all for one, but I always like being an all-rounder in a lot of games, being able to do a little bit of everything. Craft it. Let's go. We're good. What the hell is that? A monster egg. All right. Didn't know it needed them. And... Yeah, I'm using the feline one. These are just epic swords, right? Steel swords. I need a feline. Have I not built a feline steel sword ever? Could it be in my... I mean, it could be in my stash. I'm guessing I've never built it. Let's do it. And then I can do this. I just need... Oh, I'll just buy that. It's nothing, is it? Yeah, let's do the steel sword enhanced. That was the right one. That was the right one. I think that was the right one. Okay. I've probably done that twice now. Never mind. You're mixing combat and sign build right now with a few of those generic abilities swapped out world because you know world will get me killed too much. That's that's kind of been my um, thing with it. 
I have come a little bit close to getting myself killed a few times from swinging wildly away in the middle of a, in a bunch of mobs. So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. Superb. And while we're here... Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. I think... My sword ready yet? It's a bit optimistic. Not quite. Come back later. Uh, I can just see what he's got. What do you have on offer? Uh, did I have anything to sell? Anything extra to sell? I think I had. Some more roach stuff. Yeah, I did. I did. This is where a lot of my weights come in. So, get rid of the saddles. Nice, get rid of them. I don't think I need to... I think I want to put those in the stash, because... I don't know if they're useful for anything else, but... Um, I don't feel like I want to get rid of them. Gold. Hmm. I'm wondering if that should be broken down. Pure silver. Well, he's not buying anything else, so... That's good. That's good. That'll do for now. Right, let's see what we've got. So long. We shall return there at another time. So, I think that wants to go in the stash. We've got a Griffin Silver Sword Enhanced. Now, I can compare this with that. So, it is slightly better than the Feline Sword. I don't want Ard Sign Intensity. I'm not bothered about that. I've got General Sign Intensity anyway on the Griffin one. Bonus Experience from Monsters, which is the same. And that, the feel like I want just extra bleeding chance. Um, I think I'll take it. There's not a lot in it. I mean, there's only one level difference requirement. I think I'm going to take that. Does that mean I can actually get the other one built now? If I'm not using it. I probably could, couldn't I? And... All right, so I did have a feline silver sword. It was just I had it equipped, so it wasn't showing it in the crafting menu. So now I've got two. Uh, so that's... never mind. I could probably sell that anyway now. Or I can put it in my stash for when I balls it up next time as well. I must remember that. That's... that's... that's annoying. Right, what should we put on our silver sword? We've got, um... chance to poison? Poison monsters. I'm sure a lot of them will be immune to poison. Wraiths and stuff would be, I would have thought. Check out how many hours you already have. Uh, I'm going to guess. I'm up to about episode 140. So let's guess about 70 hours in that. We'll maybe have a look later. That, that's going to be my guess anyway. See, see what you lot reckon. Stagger. Ble bleeding? On a monster? Could be. Sign intensity. Stun. Mm. I don't know what to use on that. Armor piercing. On a silver one. Hmm. I'll put attack power on. I might get him to... Actually, I've never done this before. Was he gone? I don't know why he always puts me out in the rain afterwards. Greetings, Ibeer. This guy's going to get girl. sick of me in a minute. Uh, we want to craft something for me. Listen. And then we go out with it, and we go to remove upgrade, and we go to. Is this the one? Chance to poison. Click on that. Upgrades will be destroyed. Am I going to do all of them? Well, that sucks. That kind of sucks. But at least now we know. So that's that's fine. Right. So long. Let's see. No, it's not working on mine on the keyboard, so let's take a look then. Cat is it under character? Or character stats. It's not under there. Inventory. We're looking for what you asked for now, for the... Oh, player stats, there we go. Right trigger. 
Oops. There we go. Uh, where is it? 69 hours, 35 minutes. It wasn't a bad guess, was it? <laughs> uh, we want to make sure we've got... Yeah, we've got the right stuff equipped. I'll keep that with... We're not going to hit level 23 tonight. Let's put some stuff in then. Um, bleeding. It'll work on some monsters. I've just used my good stuff, which is kind of annoying. Stun? Yeah, chuck it on. I don't know. Chuck anything on. I don't mind chucking things on, because I kind of like to see if and how they work. Sign intensity. Freeze. So what does that actually give me on that? We'll see. I did it for the damage, really, anyway. Right then, another one down. We'll just hit behind him. Sharpen my swords a bit. You've got 90 and you're level 48. As I say, it takes a little bit longer when you stream. Plus, I am exploring kind of as much as possible as well. I, I'm, I'm not saying you're not, but... Uh, well, I guess you know you've got the advantage of having played through before and know where you're going. <laughs> I'm doing a little bit more blind. Who's on the other side of this? There's like a, a bandit that's just decided to aggro me. Can I just climb over and kill him? No, not now I can't. Okay. Can I actually get down there? Here we go. You know what I should have done right there? I should have just run in and gone that. Enjoying that little burn, my friend? Burns. It, but that's going to sting. Okay, a ham sandwich. <laughs> and a chicken sandwich. It was well worth looting these people. You're not doing that much exploring? It's kind of good once you've played through a game, because you... You often have an idea of where you want to go, what's worth spending the time on. You don't get that feeling quite the same of exploring new stuff. Because I, I do love exploring this game. I love that feeling of coming across something brand new and unexpected. I've done an awful lot of, sort of side quests and um, just exploring question marks. That's where it's all come from. But let me just go up on stage here and stash yeah we're going to put a load of these where are we we're going to put that in yep and the viper silver sword I'll just have to remember to come and get this a warrior's leather jacket oh it is witcher gear griffin armor I've got my stuff on that I want I'm happy with this I think it's set and We won't put that in, because otherwise I'll forget it's there. I'll just totally forget it's there. Having said that... Yeah, we, we don't need, like, all these. Oh, let's just put them all in. Have a nice tidy up. Uh, doesn't that look better? I like being tidy. What have you got to say, then? Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. No... No, not all. But I'd imagine something more, you know, more theatrical. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. The chameleon? <laughs> Hang on, he's bringing the placards for the Rosemary in time, and you're changing the name? Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Thyme wasn't all bad, but it conjured images of Temerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. <laughs> Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Premier will have the audience on their feet. 
on their knees, both at the same time. How? Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. You see what I mean about everyone looking oiled up and slicked up because of the rain? It's just, Thanks for everything. Yeah, not quite there. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Never say no. Why not? <laughs> That's my boy. He smiled. <laughs> Geralt actually smiled briefly. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He's all right. And she say anything about me? <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Uh huh. She said you've gained some weight, and that you should bathe more often. Very <laughs> funny, Gerald. Shove it. Well, well. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Dandelion living in monogamy. I've always been monogamous. Well, near enough. I just changed muses often. Priscilla, another one for your collection? No, she's its crowning glory. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know if that was the answer One you thing's wanted. eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? <laughs> okay. That's not what I expected. I thought he was going to bed that woman. She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time, you know. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Oh, God. Priscilla, she's... What? Gone. Speak, man. She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Hmm, a plot twist. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, Holy but crap. you are a relative? A relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. We don't care. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. This is, um... This is serious. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery? Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Oh, yes. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. This guy's quite helpful. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumour. Okay, this uh, this is like some serious attack. Cause this, this is like the type, type of hate crimes that we get these days. Dandelion ought to pay Geralt a salary. 
personal personal favor man yeah hmm it's brutal stuff though great analogy but this tumor is not gonna sit there wait to be excised appreciate the help but i doubt you know what you're getting yourself into i know perfectly well and i assure you i can take care of myself easy assurance to make harder to back up especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel not a sword I'm gonna get a shock here look at this scar don't be shy any idea what leaves such a mark a flail morning star maybe what do you think a blow sustained at the operating table yeah no? let me repeat i know what i'm doing and i wish to help Geralt just getting a little bit ahead of himself there i think think they'll let me into the morgue by the main entrance certainly not but you can also get inside <sighs> through the sewers the sewers Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess so. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. <sighs> Thanks. Every time that name is mentioned, I just want to laugh. You lead. So this is a mysterious sort of character. So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the... Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Drowners. Ah, uh, that stench. Have a little fire. Yeah, the world is nice, but it, it can get you into trouble. <laughs> I guess I need these guts and brains. Oh, there aren't any. Okay. Oh, what? You're not doing that to me again. I've, I've made my mistakes there in the past, Miss Hag. Here, have a little, have a little, have a little juicy fire. <laughs> they don't like the fire. I think we got it. What a... What a... Yeah. This is actually pretty interesting. It includes one of your favourite parts of Witcher lore. Well, this is going to be cool. Oh, speaking of Witcher lore, guess who got the entire series of Witcher well, books delivered? Make me wait? Just the other day. That's going to uh, keep me busy reading for a bit. Not that I'm starting them just yet. I've got a little bit of uh, Bernard Cornwall's Last Kingdom to finish off first. Lost <laughs> it. I kill one, another takes its place. The amazing flying drowns. Believe me. Where to now? Up? Yes, it's not oh, far I'll, now. I'll take Where's the hard way. How's it look? Give it to me straight. No sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can mm. be of help on that count. Yeah, imagine that you, if you were a singer or something and your voice got trashed like that. It would it would strip you of the will to live. Take the ladder. The one thing that you loved doing and were really good at and made you living by the place. gets taken Come. away. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. Mm. The coroner, for example. What's this? Uh, oh, I'll take all this lager. Pastori. Very well. What's this dolly we to? The corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Do I want to be in here? Where's the guy gone? Hang on. He's run off without me. I read that. Oh. Oh, I need to read. Right, okay. Yes, scavenger hunt. More diagrams or is this guy waiting for me through here? I think he is oh no 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 he's telling me to go this way right find the dwarven woodcarver's body using your witcher senses I think that's him I haven't found a use for all this lager and stuff I've been looting don't drink it in case you get drunk and it messes me up 
A trail of the elder races. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. <laughs> Standing Where? in a draft, I think. Uh, let's start with the torso. <laughs> Not gonna go straight for the genitals. Let's examine his torso. <laughs> what have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Okay. Let's check the chest wound. Because if it's a wound, that's maybe where it started. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Oh, don't worry, we'll get to the genitals. Have you just found that? Oh, that's his crossbow bolt, is it? What the hell is that? Leg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Herpetology? I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So, either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Ooh, that's kind of, kind of grim, because that also implies that Priscilla might have something implanted in her as well. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin, an incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Okay. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. <laughs> Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's mm. no smell of decay. And why his throat scalded. Hmm. Interesting. And matches Priscilla's injuries. This is all a bit like Silence of the Lambs. God, I haven't seen that film in a long time. Okay, so let's check his hands and see if he made any attempt to fight this off. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Okay. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance. Oh, guess I missed that bit. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So what? it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. What we need to do is find out who this guy owed money to. We need to find that out. Let's examine the mouth. Burns, blisters. Grim. Just like Priscilla's. I don't think Priscilla was meant to uh, survive this, you know. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed, so thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Holy crap. This just gets more and more gruesome. Okay, we are, we are going to get to the genitals. See anything interesting Indigo, on his legs? Don't worry. His right foot, the ankle swollen, toenails broken, 
He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. <laughs> yeah, apologies. We surgeons. We've yeah. a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. I don't know. I, I thought that was quite in Geralt style, to be quite honest. All right. I <laughs> don't know what we're going to find here. His this genitals. We ought to inspect This those. is going to make me cringe. I sincerely it? doubt they bear any relation to the matter. <laughs> we'll see. Pull down his trousers and shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right, okay. So we had syphilis. All right. I think uh, I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. <laughs> Am I supposed to know? This was a ritual murder. This wasn't punishment. The egg... The egg sort of... Um, rules that out. It wasn't just punishment. It could have been a ritual. Like a ritual as in... I mean, implanting an egg. A burnt egg, though. Could the guy actually have been... Trying to... Remove... Eggs from... Could this be a victim? We'd gone to someone for help. And... Actually, that got died in the act of having all these eggs removed. Is that a possibility? I don't know. Don't go and Google what syphilis looks like, Shamrock. Don't. Uh, it could have been a ritual murder. That's the murder is mad. I don't think the murder is mad. I think the murder is very deliberate. I think I'm going ritual murder because we've seen it twice. There's a purpose to this. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. Hmm. I hadn't picked a that up. fire actually. eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. Ah, <gasps> oh, it's crashed! No! Right. Bear with me a second. I've got to. I've got to stop recording.